Hello everyone and welcome back to Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4 Part 6 of my Let's Play. Apologies that it's been a while since I last recorded any videos. I've not really had the time as of late as I've been busy with various games. Some of which I have got recorded so I will hopefully have those uploaded by this week. So keep an eye out for those, stay tuned. And I thought I would do Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4 as it's been a while since I last recorded it according to YouTube it was last year since I recorded this so apologies that this has been on hold for so long as well but I do love this game so I do plan on getting through some more of it and I know it's popular playthroughs so I do plan on uploading some more episodes so without anything to do let's continue the story so in the last episode we defeated the troll and saved Herm Hermione he was in the dungeon and then he went to the ghost bathroom to try and get her but we saved her from the troll and also we completed this Lumos spell class so now we've learnt Lumos along with our previously learnt spell when guarding Leviosa. So I'm just going to look around here quickly to see if there's any like, studs I can get because you know me I like collecting studs. Nope I must have already got them last episode so I'm just going to go through here. Also I hope you're all keeping safe and well during these strange times. And currently I'm doing the commentary over the gameplay so my mic might sound louder because for some reason when I record it alongside the gameplay in OBS which is what, what I used to record it's usually very quiet but I have been looking into how to get more of a balance so hopefully in future episodes I might be able to balance the audio out more with the commentary so I'll have to see about that in future episodes so just going to collect some more of these studs I have to go go through there, I have to go through that gate I'll get these lights first, I'll use them I'm going to on these, let's get those, yeah use my newly learnt spell Lumos and and get these studs before I go through there. So let's go down, down this way. So we're doing potions with Snape. So we'll learn a new potion. So it's going to be the strength potion. Which at the beginning of the game only Hagrid can pull these chains, but thanks to this potion, Harry Ron and Hermione can do it now. So that's handy to have. So I'm gonna go around the classroom and um build things and collect some studs so I'll build this for after I'm guessing Scabbard has to go up there for the ingredients so I'll I'll do that after. I'll move these finds. There we go. I'm guessing I'll, I'll need to get that tooth and put it in there. Cauldron. And Gordon Leviosa and all the things that are interactive. It's always good to have studs so I can like buy extra things and have them have them there. It's always hand there. So now I'm going to change to Ron and I need to get Scabbers up here. Okay, let's go. Get this onto the seesaw thing and get this down. There we go. And I'm going to put this into the cauldron. There we go, one down, two to go. There's two, yeah, got it. Now I just need this skeleton arm. more studs before I do though, I'm just looking around for him. 
And God didn't let me host to these guys, so why not? It means I can get through there as well and get those studs. Just making sure I've cleared out the room of studs before I go to get the last ingredient. So I'll get rid of these bricks and here we go, there's the skeleton. So we need to get his, we need to get his arm. There we go, I've got garlic, so I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna take it to the cauldron. Oh, I think there you go. I got up there. I'm gonna drink it and now I should be able to pull that chain. And that should be the end of the potion class. Yep, there we go, strength potion unlocked. Nice. And we got a gold brick for that. Nice. I can exit now. I've pretty much got all the studs here, so I'm gonna go out this way. This way now. Yep. I'm not gonna go through and follow the ghost, which I presume is near Headless Nick. I would presume. I just have to do a bit of a pause there just to make sure uh, uh, what my recording time is just to see how long I was recording for so that's why I, did. That's why I stopped for a bit there just to see my recording time because I usually really like to keep the episodes about 20 minutes long maybe just over sometimes it depends on the level honestly some levels are longer than others three out of nine Four out of nine, so I'm guessing there's more of those somewhere. But I'll probably go back for those later in the next episode, perhaps. Gonna go through this way. Into the grounds. Catch some more studs. Like this is studs everywhere in the, in this in this area. And I think they do sometimes respawn as well, so there's just always sort of collect here, which is nice. I'll cast them on these guys. Get get um get them away from this student in peril. There we go. Let's go. Student in peril. Saved. Let's go. So now I have to go through there again, I guess, yep. I don't think I can get those pixies yet, I think I need another spell for those. Is it, I think it's an immobilist, I believe it is. But I, won't, I probably won't get that until the, um, later in the game, so I'll have to come back later, I guess. See what's in here. Okay, enough, and sometimes it changes your outfit, I think, as well, but it didn't, it didn't do anything. So that, that, that doesn't do anything. Let's go that down this way then. Yeah, more stuff for me to collect. I gotta, gotta collect them all. Because why not? So it looks like we're going to Herbology now with Madame Pomfrey. So I'll, we'll go there shortly just after I get these studs. Guess I can't get rid of those yet. They just captured me, but I, I have to go and. Um, uh, for this stud, if there's a stud there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it regardless. <laughs> it doesn't seem to affect my hard buff, so that's good. I think it just it just catches me for a bit. Like this is a blue stud there, so I'm gonna get that. Even though it means that I have to get caught by that that, that plant thing. I was trying to get, get rid of it there, but I just couldn't get rid of it, so I just went in and threw it away because there's a stud there. It doesn't do anything to my hard I know it's really so it's, it's it's fine. There's probably a way of getting rid of it though. Right, let's get, let's get this. Right, let's just go through now. So yeah, now we're doing some herbology with modern pump for it. Let's go. So there's those same plants from outside. And that's what they were doing to me. So 
we have to use that spell to get rid of them because th these plants don't like light Uh oh, it's gonna catch gonna catch Ron. Oh no, Ron. Have to go save him Ron. Which is part of the Clash Hound, I guess, so I've gotta try and save Ron now. For this part I'll play I'll play as Hermione as it matches up with the storyline because there's a part in the story where she tells Ron about this spell, Lumos Salem. I won't tell you which part because that's spoilers but most of you or some of you might know which part I'm referring to but there's, there's a part in the story where Hermione remembers that these plants don't like light so she basically helps Harry and run out out of the um, place but I won't say which part for those of you that have not watched the films I said I don't want to go into too much more stuff like it will be in the play it will be in the playthrough as well but for now, I won't go into too much details, but I thought I would choose Hermione as it matches with the storyline of the film, so I thought I'd do that. Even though it doesn't matter which character you play as regardless, but I still thought I'd do it just because it matches with the storyline, so I thought I'd do that. And I do like talking about the storylines in my episodes, having watched like all the films, so yeah, that's why I, I, I did it for this episode. I'm just going to like cast on all these. Got to remember that I can multi-target, so that's why it just saves a bit of time. Rather than having to cast every single one, I can just like do it all in once by just highlighting them all. It's just it's handy to have. Oops, I got the teacher there. <laughs> if you cast the teacher, should teach it. Will, they'll, they'll cast at your back. There we go. I'm just going around and filtering all the things. I honestly love that you can just use a wand on literally everything in this game. Like I, I do love that honestly. I mean, it's Harry Potter. It, that, that had to be a like you know essential a wand, and you know to use that in, in the whole Hogwarts, of course. So I love that. I love that honestly. That, that they've um, you know, give us give us that freedom to to do that in this game. Because even in even in Premium, you can just like you, you know, go and love yourself all the, the students if you want to. You can just do it, you know whatever you like, which is just fun times. So I built this and now I'm, I have to go on that I guess. Not going to go into there. And it's got rid of the plants. Now we can save from. Not before I get rid of, these, rid of this other plant over here though. And also. Those. Maybe some of the flowers as well. If I can get some more stuff. So I might do. Yeah, there we go. I can get those. And I'll save from. Castle of Mosulem. There we go, Ron is now saved, and we have Lumos Lemon is now unlocked, so now we can kill the plants basically, with the light, so that's nice, and gold, another gold brick, that's nice as well. Initially I was planning to do a 100% playthrough, but like, I might I have to go back to it at the end of the playthrough, depending on how popular these episodes are. Otherwise, I might just go straight to five to seven, depending which you would prefer. Let me know. Either way, I don't mind. I hope I'm going back to get the one hundred percent, or maybe just going straight to five to seven. And as far as I'm aware, I think when you get one hundred percent, I don't think it unlocks anything too much. I think it just makes the game one hundred percent basically. Might be wrong, but it might unlock some, some sort of bonus if we get 100%. And sometimes you have to go back into um, free mode to like for certain things, so it's like Omni Dot Wizards or something can like access certain areas of the level, like they can, you know, the metal bits usually you can think that's the thing, so I might go back in free roam at the end of the playthrough. But that probably won't be for a while yet though, because I'm still pretty early in the game, so yeah. I'll just feed, I'll feed that. I'm just feeding this plant now, and the last, the next, there's nothing here. Presume it's poison yet. It was probably, probably poison yet. There we go. 
you give me some studs. That's good. I'm gonna go around this way now and get these flowers. And then I'll follow Headless Nick. I presume it's Headless Nick, anyways. I mean, it looks like him, so yeah. And I'll presume it is because, you know, he's, he's a ghost in the film, so it only makes sense. One of the many ghosts in the films. But he's only one of the main ghosts, I guess. Get these. So fly and practice with Madame Hooch. Never always remember all in Draco there. Up. And it hits Ron in the nose, it's so funny. And then in the films as well. Oh, Neville's away. Banging in all to, into all the walls, and now he's just got cut by a bag oil and he's dropped his remember all. Draco will be throwing it up there, so we're gonna have to go fetch that for Neville. I'm on it, let's, let's go. Right, so. Get these studs first. Get that gargoyle. So yeah, Harry can ride the the broom the best, so players him for this part. Uh, gold stud, nice. Now that plant's caught it, so I have to try and detach those vines from the plant and hopefully release the remember all. Let's do that. That's one down, two down, and three. Yay. Done. Oliver Wood and McGonagall there. I got it. And that's basically how Harry becomes a seeker. They see Harry's potential there. McGonagall and Oliver Wood, and then Oliver Wood becomes Harry's coach. So that's how Harry becomes a seeker in Quidditch. Yeah, Bruce Blank unlocked. Let's go. And a gold brick as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, let's follow near Lehler's Nick. You lead the way. Go through here. Get these vines away. That's Fred and George, Great Harris. Let's go, let's go. More vines to, to get. Okay, doc, so I need to get three ingredients for a potion. Presumably the shrimp potion, since that's the Currently the only potion I've, un I've unlocked yet, I think, so yeah, that will be the strength potion. And I've got to build this by the looks of it as well, so I'll be building that. I've made that, so I'll put that on there, I guess. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna reveal to these, the extra studs, because why not? Go around here. Get the, some extra stuff. There we go. We've got an um, ingredient there by the looks of it. I'll go back for that after, though. I just need to find the other one. Go 
around real quick. Yeah, there, there it is, isn't there? I wasn't aiming at it properly, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Now we just need the skeleton arm, so I'll, I'll go fetch that. There it is. Just looking around, just just to make sure I've got everything here, yep. Okay, yeah, that's going in there, pop it in, and have a drink, and yep. Jump potion, and I'm, I can pull this chain. And that should break through there, yes, let's go. All those studs as well. I'm gonna collect those. Right, so let's go through here. Need to get on this broomstick. I can't get on it. I'm gonna. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, broomstick. There we go. <laughs> Wasn't getting on there for a minute there. <laughs> I'm gonna get on that broomstick and I've got cross. Yay, woo woo. Right, Whoops. So, yeah, I will be doing some more Harry Potter content in the future. I plan to do that discussion video about the um, port key gate key games that they are the publishers of the mobile Harry Potter games co uh, currently and there's um about there's um one released and there's two upcoming so I'll be discussing those in a future video probably I know most people want a massive MMO RPG Harry Potter game but understandably that's going to take a longer time long time because there's a lot of work that probably goes into that I guess you know and then they have to get the rights from one of bras and then they have to get the spells in there and then all the classrooms and Hogwarts and all the Harry Potter areas so I can understand why it's not actually happened yet because it's a massive project I imagine and of course you know that one of us um, permission and stuff and then they might have to get like people to do the voices of the teachers in, in the game and um, you know all the characters and such so a lot of the work going to go into that so I get why we haven't got it it would be awesome if we actually got something like that I think I'd, I'd play it a lot honestly it's been rumoured that we're going to get a PS5 Harry Potter open world by Avalanche whether it's legit or not, I can't confirm that, but the trailer looks pretty leaked, so it might not be 100% true as of yet, but I would like to believe it's true. And if it's co coming out on PS5, surely PT as well. So I got Fastig on Logic there and gave it to Hedwig by the looks of it, so I got that Fastig now. So yeah, hopefully if they release it on PS5, I would imagine it's on PC as well, possibly, but at the moment we don't know if it's... Um, happening or not we're just seeing like a, a leaked trailer of it so it could be true it could not be true so we'll just have to see I guess until Avalanche actually announces it so yeah I'm gonna go through here to the Quidditch Stadium now so yeah I'll, I'll probably do a discussion video on the um, Portkey games probably not on the of more one as of yet as currently it doesn't really look like concrete whether like we're definitely getting it or not so till Avalanche actually announced that it's happening maybe at E3 or a Gamescom event I probably won't share my thoughts till that actually happens so yeah we've got that broomstick and we're just going round that's n nice, got some stuff for that but yeah hopefully it does happen because that would be awesome honestly I'd love if that would actually happen it would be like a dream come true honestly because to actually be able to have a Harry Potter game that will constantly keep evolving and to be a part of that would just be like um, absolutely awesome honestly just a little bit of a pause there just to see if um, 
Mana Coin Times not too, too over or not. This is going to go over 20 minutes, but not too, too much over, hopefully. It's getting on towards half half hour, but um, that's alright for an episode, I think, so. Yeah, I'll just get these flags up. So yeah, I will be doing some discussion videos and um, hopefully more Harry Potter stuff in the future, as I know it does really well on my channel, and of course I love anything to do with Harry Potter, so I'm always up for checking it out, so I'll definitely be doing some more in the future. Yes, we've got Padma Patel. And Kate's about unlocked now. The closest thing we got to Harry Potter Quidditch was um, a game called Broomstick League, that was like an online one. But then it, it got shut down for some unknown reason, I presume. It was too similar to Hyper Power or something. I um, guess that's why they shut it down. But we are going to get Quidditch in the, in the Magic Awakening games. I think you, you have to like um, fly through hoops and stuff. So that, we'll have to um, see how that um, when that's out. It does look cool though, so I look forward to checking it out. Magic Awakening in general, I'm looking forward to it as well. So yeah, we got that cover down, it's going to go in the box, nice. Now we've got some studs and gold bricks, I'll go get those. Nice, 16 out of 200. So yeah, I'll probably leave the episode there for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this ep return of LEGO Harry Potter Years 1 to 4 episode. And I will be doing some more videos this week, hopefully, so stay tuned for those. But until next time, bye for now.